Energy is important. It warms our homes, moves us, cooks our food, and powers our economies. But our current usage of energy is a leading contributor to climate change. Over 80% of the energy sources we use come from fossil fuels, like oil, gas, and coal. These emit greenhouse gases. Greenhouse gases act as a layer of insulation, trapping some of the sun's warmth before it is released back into space. This process is known as the greenhouse gas effect. The primary greenhouse gases from energy production and consumption are methane and carbon dioxide. The rate at which we have added greenhouse gases to the atmosphere since industrialization is the leading cause of climate change. Climate change is causing extreme weather events like droughts, floods, fires, and hurricanes. These events will increase in frequency if we do not reduce emissions in the atmosphere. For much of human history, greenhouse gases in the atmosphere have been kept at safe levels by natural carbon sinks, such as oceans, forests, and wetlands. However, we are now adding greenhouse gases to the atmosphere faster than natural carbon sinks can absorb them. When people talk about climate change, they often reference the average increase in temperature around the world. For instance, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, the IPCC, has recommended a cap of 1.5 degrees Celsius as the maximum amount of average warming that can happen while maintaining a safe environment for people. A temperature increase of 1.5 degrees may seem small, but this is a global average. Many places will warm faster and see far greater temperature increases and impacts. Our global economy and many people's lives are strongly tied to the energy system. Broadly, the energy system is how we produce and consume energy. Demand for energy is increasing globally, resulting in more greenhouse gas emissions. To address climate change, we need a sustainable energy transition to provide the energy services people rely on while reducing emissions. This requires many people, governments, and companies around the world to work toward reducing energy demand, improving energy efficiency, and switching to cleaner energy sources. Currently, energy consumption and the production of emissions is uneven around the world. The wealthiest 10% of the world's population are responsible for half of global greenhouse gas emissions. However, the impacts of climate change are disproportionately felt by the world's most marginalized communities. A pragmatic and equitable energy transition will respond to this reality by centering community well-being and poverty reduction. Failure to rein in global warming to below 1.5 degrees Celsius will lead to mass displacement of people and communities. This will be due to sea level rise, more extreme weather events, disruption to economic development, escalation in water crises, and increased infectious and chronic disease. Many impacts of climate change are irreversible once they occur, underscoring the need to quickly reduce emissions to hit the IPCC recommended target of 1.5 degrees Celsius. In doing so, we will create a world in which ourselves, future generations, and natural ecosystems can thrive. That's climate change.